The object of the game is when all the balls are gone, four balls on each end, right. four red and four green, you want your color's balls to be the closest to the Polino. And I'm, you do it in any fashion you could do it. If you got to hit the Polino down to be close. The Polino is the white ball. Right. right. That's the little white ball. But what you do, the, you flip a coin to see who's going to throw the Polino. Had you, if you win the, the flip, then you get to throw the Polino. Whoever throws the Polino throws the first ball. Okay. Okay, so you can see the red ball went first. The first green ball didn't beat it. They have to roll until they beat that point. If it takes them one ball, two balls, or all four balls. Okay? Now, since it's in, the Donnie's going to shoot this. And you could hit these out any way you can. You try to volo shot on it. That's in the air. On the internationals, they do that. But on the open courts like this, we just play regular rule mm -hmm. that you don't have to hit them like that. And, that's, and then at the end, when all the balls are gone, whosoever ball is the closest gets a point. Mm -hmm. But if you have two red ones closest, you'll get two points. Three right. for three, four for four. Most of the time, most games go to 12 points. Sometimes in tournaments, uh, they'll go to 15, maybe 16. And that's, that's basically it. It's not a, it's not a real hard game as, as far as rules, but there's a lot of strategy in it on who has balls left. If you're playing four guys against four, there's some guys that are better shooters that can hit the ball hard out of the way, and other guys are pointers or laggers, and they can put the ball close by rolling it very soft. It's almost like horseshoes a little bit. A little bit like horseshoes, a little bit like putting on a golf course. You know, you think about it, there's a hole there, you're putting your golf ball to get it close to that hole. That's the guy that's a lagger. And but then the they, horseshoe but person... But like this is curving here. Is he throwing the curve in it? Or does well, you, it know, they, have a, you know, all courts are different. These are, these are a stone that's surface That's where the money is. See, if you got it, you know your it, own court. Right. Now, here's the thing. These courts here are never the same. So a, a good team, good players could read the courts quickly. Oh, really? And, and if by you, just the roll. By just by watching everybody else, right, and then okay. you'll then you'll see the breaks, and then roll on a few. You'll you'll catch it real quick. You know, what reminds me of you know uh, years ago I used to play a lot of pool. You know, I, I love the it. same I, thing. Where's you, usually there's always a home court advantage for one team or another. Right. But the good teams, like I said, could, could read that could court. Read their court. They could read it. You know, you could go on it, and you remember from year to year. Like this court here has had that break in there for the last ten years. They try to get it out, and it just seems like it always just keeps coming back. And that's just the nature of the ground underneath it. So every court's look. So you go and, like, we'll go to Rome, New York. Rome, New York courts always seem like they taper towards the middle. They've been like that for 10 years. So right. when we go there, we have that already in our mind. Mm -hmm. So then you, but it's still home court advantage. It looks like a fun you know. game, actually. I, I, Donnie's been saying he's been playing this for a long time down here botching. Looks like a pretty fun game. I mean. One thing about it, you don't have to be strong. You don't have to, you know, right. women could be great. You could be 70 years old. And I've you can play it. drunk, too. Oh, yes. A lot of guys do. <laughs> Try to play. <laughs>